for joining me today guess what this is really a wild product that i found y'all look at the sun shining in <laughs> i am really i mean this is a weird product not just fascinating but kind of weird <laughs> it's also one of those as seen on tv um uh, products so are you ready <laughs> check it out it's a flashlight you say, oh, big deal, it's a flashlight. But guess what? It doesn't run on batteries. It runs on water. Get the heck out of here. Yes, it runs on water. It's a hydrolyte. Runs on water, no batteries needed. This one even has like a little stand that you can pop it up and it acts like a lantern, not just a flashlight. It's a two-in-one, it says. Two-in-one flashlight and lantern. This is so cool. It is, uh, as seen on TV, I love As Seen on TV products. If you've never heard of As Seen on TV products, please let me know down in the comments. What they are is this As Seen on TV. It's like a big infomercial that, I mean, here in America, they show them like crazy. They have all different kinds of products, all different kinds of products. I happen to know a place where they sell all these things. I didn't order this offline or on TV. <laughs> I actually was able to pick this up. But anyhow, back to this bad boy. Um, yeah, it says no batteries, no charging, runs on water, lasts for hundreds of hours, <laughs> rubberized armor coating, uh, rugged, durable, and shelf life 25 years. <laughs> Let me read some of the back stuff. I mean, look at this, guys. This is, this is neat. Yeah, it has what's called a hydrolyte fuel cell. So, yeah, all we're going to do once we take it out of the package <laughs> is um, easy steps are twist off the bottom and remove the fuel cell which is going to be that little hydrolyte thing and we're going to submerge it in water for 10 to 12 seconds and shake all the water off put it back in and then turn it on that's going to be about it I'm just looking on the back and see if there's anything else that I can really tell you for now but yeah it says you can use any kind of water regular water, distilled water, even salt water so that means I guess like if you're out and stranded uh, and there's nothing but uh seawater you can use it that's so cool y'all i'm so excited to see what this is it says up to a hundred continuous hours on a single water dip <laughs> so yeah well i think we've um talked long enough about it let's check it out okay <laughs> okay so i've got this out of the package pretty nice but you see it there it's not real heavy it's it's a nice sturdy piece. It doesn't really, you know, feel lightweight or bad. <laughs> okay, it says, number one, twist off the bottom or remove fuel cell from hydrolyte. Okay, well, okay. Then it says, to remove plastic wrap and fuel cell from fuel cell and immerse in water for 10 to 12 seconds to generate power. Okay, let's do that. Careful, Robin. <laughs> okay. Plastic wrap is removed. This is what I've got here. It's plastic. I thought it was going to be flimsy, actually, but it's not. It's plastic. Wow. And it says immerse, and it has a line. I don't see where it says that I have to do it in a specific way, but this says to insert. Wait a minute. Insert, it says, not immerse. So, is that, I guess, I guess that's what goes up inside when I put it back. Yeah, because it has metal on the end of it, and the end there has the metal pieces that usually you see on a battery. Okay, so it says 10 to 12 seconds. Woo. Well, you all, I've got too much water, so hold on. <laughs> Okay, 10 to 12 seconds, I got that bad boy in there. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It doesn't say I have to twirl it, but I am eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. 
All right, that's been at least 12 seconds. Okay, now I'm going to take it out of here and shake all the uh, water off of it. Be right back. Okay, excess water has been shaken out of it. Okay, now since it says insert, I'm going to put that inside. Put in there. Put this. Twist this puppy back on. If I can get it to thread. Hold on, y'all. Okay. You kind of have to push it. All right. Here we go. Are you kidding? Y'all, I'm in a kind of bright room. I'll try to turn it off. And it says you can twist it. Oh, I twisted the top off. There's some way you're supposed to be able to twist it and make a lantern out of it. I'll have to check it out. But look, y'all, that's a light. That's a flashlight. Can you see that on my hand? Out of water. Get out of here. I mean, that's pretty bright. Can you see that on my face? Ooh. Y'all got to take you into something darker so you can see it. Okay, I'm in our utility room. Look at that. Y'all, that's a pretty good light. I mean, it really is. I'm looking. Can you see? Look. Ugh. Water. Y'all, that's pretty cool. Now I got to figure out how to get it twisted so that you can make a lantern out of it. I don't know. I'll get. To, I'll keep twisting until I figure it out. <laughs> okay, you all. I kind of feel like a fool once I figured it out. But look at that. It's like a little lantern. I'm trying to get it darker for y'all. It's not. Hold on. Check this out. This is so cool. <laughs> it works. It works. I'm impressed. For about 25 bucks, 26 bucks is what. I mean, seriously. It does a good job. It runs on water. <laughs> okay, y'all. This says it runs for like 100 hours. I'm going to leave it on, I think, and see through the night how it does. But other than that, I am rather impressed, I must say, for something to run on water like that. I mean, you run out of batteries all the time, but you don't run out of water. I mean, even if it's water that's not drinkable water, you can still use it for this. Now, I'm sure you don't want to use something that's real dirty water, like muddy or anything. You'll probably clog that up. That's my personal belief. It doesn't say, you know, yay or nay about it. Okay, I was just wanting to look at this and see. It says it has a shelf life of 25 years. So, I guess that's the battery. Uh, I just think this is really cool. To have something like it, it's still going. I mean, but yeah, uh, it does says fuel cell can provide up to 300 plus total hours of light and multiple with multiple dips, multiple dips. So I guess if you see it kind of running low, maybe if the bright the light wasn't as bright, maybe you would need to redip it. But uh, yeah, uh, I mean, it says use as directed. There's really nothing else major on it. I, I, again, I'm just kind of, um, yeah, I'm, a, I'm rather impressed. I have to say, as seen on TV products, kudos. <laughs> All right, I'm going to leave this and we'll sit right over here and we'll see how it does through the night. And, uh, yeah, we'll see how that goes. But I'll let you know in the next video how it goes so that I can wind up this video. I want to say thank you so much for joining me on this review I mean, seriously, kudos to the uh, flashlight that runs on water. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm impressed. I hope you were impressed, too, or at least found this helpful. If you do think it's helpful and you think anybody else might want to know about it, share me out. That way, people will be like, hey, I think I might get me one of them flashlights. That's pretty cool. <laughs> if you haven't already subscribed, I'd love to have you as a subscriber. Ding that bell. That way you'll get notifications for any time I do any of these reviews of regular products or food or whatever it is it's life with robin ann so who knows what life may take you okay 
as I always tell you to, you do you, don't let anybody tell you any different because you are special and I want you to love yourself, love someone else. Life is way too short for anything else, okay? All right, I will see you next time right here, same bat channel. Take care of yourself, all right? Much love and God bless. Bye! <laughs>